So these are the type of videos that are send you anxiety through the roof, <laughs> through the roof, right? Do you even know what, like the title of the video is, NASA discovered something weird about the Earth's gravity. Do you know what would happen if we lose gravity here? Where, where you don't even want to think, see, 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 it start, start activating your anxiety. That's what it does. We're going to check this video out, man, because I feel like we need to know some, some of us don't know. I was once who, once a person that didn't really care about this type of stuff. Now I do. So I feel like it's my duty to make sure I pass it along. Right? Cool. So we're going to check this one out. If you're new, hit that subscribe button, join the fam. Here we go. NASA researchers have finally discovered that Earth's gravity keeps changing, and scientists can't guarantee that there won't be any unexpected leaps in the near future. Even if gravity changes by only 1%, the consequences will be catastrophic. So you better hold on tight. In this video, you'll find out, can whales drown? Could Newton have been wrong in assuming what would happen if gravity disappeared? And most importantly, why do we even need gravity? People tend to... Uh, so we don't float into space and ultimately that be our demise. That's, what, that's one good reason why we need it. Need gravity. People tend to underestimate what they don't see. Radiation kills only those who believe in it, said Homer Simpson. And a lot of people feel the same way about gravity. But what will happen if we change that physical quantity just a little bit? Like, how about reducing it by only 1%? Oddly enough, ordinary people would hardly notice it. We'd walk, breathe, and see like we normally do. However, all the sensors on the Earth's artificial satellites would instantly throw us errors, as they would all simultaneously distance themselves from us. And even a serious organization like NASA would have a hard time fixing all the breakdowns ever and anon. If gravity, on the contrary, increased by not even one, but as much as 5%, even that wouldn't be a sufficient reason to take an emergency time off. Perhaps some athletes would be horrified to discover that they can no longer lift a bar with the same weight. Some weather stations would notice a slight increase in temperature because with the increasing gravity, the Earth would move a little closer to the sun. It doesn't seem like a big deal does it? But even minor changes in the gravitational field would have serious long-term consequences. Both a reduction or an increase in gravity would necessarily affect the Earth's core and the surrounding mantle. All the layers of our planet would simultaneously shake, entailing the destruction of many underground structures, which would be immediately penetrated by hot magma. And over time, this will... Great! That's what I needed to hear. <laughs> More vo volcanic type activity type stuff going on, man. Ugh. He immediately penetrated by hot magma. And over time, this will lead to a series of volcanic eruptions in different parts of our planet. So much for 1%. But why are we so dependent on gravity, a force we can't even feel? Gravity was discovered by Isaac Newton in 1687. But why are scientists still arguing about it these days if readjustments of formulas have no effect on human lives? Well, the thing is, it predetermines how our world began and how it will end. Newton determined that all objects are attracted to each other, but the magnitude of this force depends on the mass of these objects and the distances between them. That's what Newton's law is all about. However, in the 20th century, Albert Einstein realized that there was a need to make some adjustments to this formula. Newton's assumptions worked perfectly on Earth, but they were clearly not enough to calculate the gravitational field of objects outside 
outside of the solar system. That's how Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity was born. It's a set of laws that has long been equivalent to the holy scriptures for scientists. But this truth also seems to require reconsideration now, because it can't explain the interaction between gravity and quantum mechanics, and those were the processes that took place in the first few milliseconds after the Big Bang. But if we're still unsure even about that, can we claim that gravity will always be stable? What will happen if it, for example, increases dramatically? First of all, many animals will be out of luck. Giraffes will simply be unable to get their heads off the ground. And all whales will drown and end up sticking to the bottom of the ocean. But those numerous challenges facing Greenpeace will be just the beginning. Can you imagine that? It almost sounds like it would be like painful and a struggle to walk. That it's like, you know what I mean? Like you would put, pick your foot up and it would automatically snatch back down. Like that would almost become painful. You see how athletes and they run and they, and over periods of long periods of time, and it, it ended up, it ends up affecting them. You know what I mean? They have injuries and stuff from playing on the court so much or, or um, football players from running. It has long-term effects. Imagine what the long-term effects to your body would be if gravity was stronger. Whew. You'd be walking around with, at the same time, you'd be walking around with calves the size of your head. You know what I'm saying? But those numerous challenges facing Greenpeace will be just the beginning. People will never enjoy jelly and pudding again. All food will become exceptionally hard. Most likely, people's sexual preferences will also change. If these days men tend to be proud of their impressive manhood, only the owners of modest-sized sexual organs will be able to get an erection under conditions of doubled gravity. So in case you're sensitive about that, don't worry. Maybe one day you'll be known as a true ladies' man thanks to glitches in our physical laws. But all jokes aside, doubling Earth's gravity will have an enormous impact. Our planet's core won't be able to withstand such a load and it will collapse, break- Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? Oh, just take me now, no. Our planet's core won't be able to withstand such a load and it will collapse, breaking through the entire planet. Earth would end up looking like a giant donut, but instead of cream, hot magma will flow out of it. Oh Lord, here come the flat earthers again. Oh boy, this is about to ignite something now. Donut, but instead of cream, hot magma will flow out of it. Should I mention that even the deepest bunkers won't help people in such a case? But wait, what comes next is far more interesting. Do you know what will happen if gravity disappears completely? Under such circumstances, people will witness many extraordinary phenomena. All water bodies will turn into arrays of sparkling balls and will feel like we're inside of a short exposure image. But you won't enjoy that beauty for long. At first, each person would generate their own gravitational field and attract various small objects like paper clips or pencils. But for larger objects, we'd become such prey ourselves, helplessly sticking to benches or buses. After that, people and other everyday objects would just start flying off into space. The most massive source of gravity near our planet would be the moon. And many objects would fly all the way up there at the incredible speed of about 200 meters per second. Quite soon, the moon would acquire a ring of remnants of human civilization around it, and that ring of trash would eventually become part of our rocky companion. But what would happen if gravity disappeared there as well? What if there were no gravity in the entire universe? Something tells me you already know the answer.
Without any gravitational field, our planets would disintegrate into fragments. Other celestial bodies would suffer the same fate. Eventually, the universe would become a broth with a bunch of scattered atoms and molecules. Maybe experts are still debating about gravity for a reason. After all, our existence literally depends on it. Or should they dig the other way? A Dutch theoretical scientist named Eric Verlin and some of his colleagues believe that gravity doesn't exist at all. In short, he believes that it's not we who are attracted to the Earth, but Earth, together with other celestial objects, is constantly moving upwards, pushing us all the time. On the surface, this sounds absurd. But what if that's what could explain the gaps in the existing theories of gravity? If it's all related to the fact that gravity doesn't exist? Do you think humanity isn't really mistaken in its conception of the world? And well, I ain't gonna knock him for his theory, but at the same time, it makes you feel a little bit better at least. You know what I mean? To think that's the case, we're moving up, so it's keeping us pushed down, so we ain't never gotta worry about losing, losing gravity. You know what I mean? But the other alternative, though? <sighs> Will we ever know the whole truth? I know I don't think we'll ever know the whole truth, nor do I think we'll see it in our lifetime. I think it'll affect others down the line. But um, it's still scary, bro, to just know if something changes at any moment. There it goes. There we go. You know what I'm saying? So you need to hear this type of stuff, man, and know, know. And again, this type of stuff should motivate you to enjoy Carpe Diem. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Find the good in everything. All right? And y'all let me know what you thought of this video, man. And um, of course, stick around and stay tuned, man. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.